look at this side, there are so many plants going in here. Like I said, here we are looking at uh, the food needs. We are looking at also uh, the protective plants and also biomass plants. This is castor oil. This is not food for man. But you would be surprised why would this be here. This guy you see, it serves a lot of benefits in this ecosystem. Because what we are doing here, we are building an ecosystem with so many different uh, plants that can benefit members. There are so many other beneficial insects that will come to this plant to feed on it. In so doing, they will be attacking some other potential pests. The elephant grass, this is a substitute for some for uh, pests that would attack your maize. So if I have maize in here, so the pests that would, uh, instead of attacking maize, they would be attracted to the what? To the elephant grass, because this is even more palatable than the maize. So in so doing, playing with these different crops, you are able to manage the pests, to manage the fertility of the land, and also boost the production of your, your land, and also keep your soil healthy. So there are so many crops we can grow in the system. Uh, when you look at this tree, which we know it is a higher canopy tree, in five years this tree will be so will be high. And because its canopy is not that wider, it will not affect production. It will not affect my coffee, it will not affect my banana because its canopy is too high. So you realize at the end of the day you will have a kind of strata. You have crops growing at a lower level, you have those medium height, and then you have those that go too high. So that combination will not affect production of your, your crops. So uh, the overall vision of this place, like I said, this is an acre of land which we want to see whether a farmer who has only one acre can survive economically, can get enough food and he can also conserve this ecosystem. So, uh, like I said, this is just half of this land. We have put this setup. On the other side, we have an homestead, as you've seen, a simple house for a simple family that can accommodate possibly five people, a, a wife and husband, and then a few kids. So in the compound, we have also uh, put another design for vegetables so this side down here we are we have laid we are going to put animals which animals are going to be nourished from these gardens the grasses the the legumes so so we want to see how an acre can support a family in terms of food, in terms of uh, income, in terms of sustaining this ecosystem. So that's the whole idea of about this place. So the animals we plan to put on this site, we, we think if we have one cow, a, a milking cow, because we, as we introduce animals, we are also calculating the feeds we have, we are able to produce on this land. So in the system, we have put grasses as you see, but also the other side we have also planted some pastures but still using regenerative principles not the grass alone even within the grass space we have trees growing at different canopy to serve uh, the different uh, benefits the ecological uh, importances also uh, we shall put some pigs for this family because you know pigs can eat almost so many plants, all the plant residues that will remain in this garden will be consumed by these animals. We shall also put some poultry birds, preferably our local chicken, that can even, at some point, can even be allowed to come into this garden and look for, scratch out, because there will be a lot of earthworms in here. And then there will also, there will also be a yard for them to, to scratch. And, and they, So you have a system uh, which can support one another, all these different enterprises working together, animal crop. Because we know if you don't have, you can only grow food without rearing animals. This move hand in hand.